Welcome to our Node.js tutorial series. We are diving into asynchronous programming. I will cover callback, promises, and async await syntax to handle asynchronous operation efficiently. Let's get started. In JavaScript, especially in Node.js, handling asynchronous operation is crucial because Node.js is designed to handle non-blocking operation. This means it can perform other tasks while waiting for operations like file reading, database queries, or network request to complete. So let's start with callbacks. So callback is a function passed into another function as an argument and executed after some operation has completed. So let's see example and for that I have created here one folder in my desktop which is node.js folder and here I have one file text file and in this file we have just written welcome to study automation and then what we have to do we can open this folder in command prompt and then I'm hoping that you have already installed on node.js just check it node-v it should be installed in your system as well as you have also installed Visual Studio Code. So after installing just write code dot this folder will be opened in Visual Studio Code and here we will write our program. So now I'll just create here one file and file name is callback.js this is our file so let's write our first program I'll say we have to import const fs file system equal to I'll say require fs because we wanted to check file operation thing and we'll see how callback function is being called here and then after that I will just write here console.log and here I'll say start reading file now after that we'll start with fs.read file and here in that one I'll just pass the file name and file name is example.txt and after that we need to here pass the format of the file so I'll say reading format UTF-8 then after that we can say that we just need error and then data from here and then we can say if error then just print error so I'll say console dot let's say error and here I will say error reading file and then we can just provide the error this is one thing and then after that we can return from here and if everything is fine then we can start reading file so I'll say console.log and I'll say here file content file content and then I will just put here data that we have added as a as a parameter and after that I'll say console.log and of script so now this is the program let's run it so to run I'll just go here view click on terminal and just wait few seconds to spin up it's by default bash selected so I'll just go and change to command prompt and here I will write node a space and then I'll say callback dot js let's click enter now here if you see it's saying a start reading file which is started from here a start reading file and after that it is saying end of a script first it printed this one and then end of a script now ideally it should go and 
perform these operations as well but since this is callback right we are passing we are saying that this is file reading or network operation these all are non blocking operation by default in node.js so if you write program like this way then what will happen it will give instruction to the node.js that okay just perform these things and we'll do next of the script and whenever you will get data you can just show after that so now we have given file read operation and it's reading once the reading part is completed it printed the data here so this is how read file is basically asynchronous operation and that's why this console dot log end of a script executed before read file so this is one example how we can use callback function and using callback we can return so next thing that we need to discuss is promises so let's move to promise so promises provide a cleaner and more manageable way to handle a asynchronous operation compared to callback especially when we are dealing with complex sequences so for that i'll just create here another file and i will say this is promises demo.js and here in this promises i will write code right so if you can see here i have used so in previous program callback we have just used required fs but now in promises demo we can say required fs dot promises everything is same just we have written here a starting file reading we have file read what we have changed here is we have added file read dot then and if any error then catch that and after that we are saying end of the script so if you see we have two operations i'll just split this screen you can see we have one is promises demo another one is callback one so the difference here is in file reading we are just passing parameter as we are we are passing another function in the parameter and then using that we get the data error or data but here we are doing then and then catch so if this is a synchronous operation and using promises internally then then should be there so now here we are saying file read operation and then if de then that means if it succeed then just go and print the data if any error then catch and print the error so it's more manageable you can easily handle the problem right because we have read file which return a promise and we use then to handle the resolve operation and catch to handle the error operation so now let's check by running it so i'll say node space and promises dem so if you see it it output still you will get the same a started a reading file end of the script and then file content because this this is also a synchronous operation so now in the next part we will create our own resolving promises so right now it's using internal promise but what we will do we can create our own promise and then we will see how we can resolve that so for that i'll say here custom promises dot js so in custom promises dot js we'll write our own promise which handle and we can see how we can resolve that here you can see we have two operation we we have function created which is asynchronous operation and then we are saying that a starting of the operation because this is just a function once we will run it it will first start with here a starting asynchronous operation and in async operation this is method and now in this method we have handled promises it's just similar to the promise demo that you can see we have file reading and then we are using then similar thing we are doing here async operation then then if it is success then we will print 
then message if any error then we will print error and here we have asynchronous operation just a logging it now what we have done in async operation is we are returning a new promise this is the same thing exactly happening inside read file we return new promise and then we need to pass here to parameter which is a callback and resolve and returns so callback means once this operation is done just return the data so as a function this is function resolve and reject is a function so here we can see internally we have used timeout just it will wait two seconds and here we are saying success equal to true just to make it this operation success and it will resolve so when it will resolve it will return this uh, this output if reject it will return this output so to run it i'll say node custom promises and let's see so it's saying a starting sync operation async initiated and then operation completed successfully this line it printed first and then it will print this one and it will not wait for completion of this one it's just a synchronous operation it will fire it and then operation will be done but if you will not handle promises then what will happen it will just say operation sync then it will print whatever thing you will write here and after that it will say async operation initiated so this is one major benefit that you get one while you use promises whether you can use your own promise or you can use custom promise so after custom promise what we will see next is that is async await which is the syntax inbuilt syntax that we will use to handle the promises and it makes asynchronous code you know look and behave more synchronous code improving readability so let's write here i'll say a s y dot j s async await dot j s and here i'll write code now in this program if you see we are using promises fs dot promises to read file and in read file method so we have we are just calling read file which is asynchronous method we have just created another method read file you can name anything so read file i'll say read file demo just for you know you so here we have read file demo in this one what we are saying that inside method itself first we are saying a start reading file then we are saying that okay just read file but await that means read file until we will not receive data then print the content of data and if everything is okay then go to next and print it so i'll write here node js async await so if you see now here our program right is saying a start reading file so a start reading file so it went first we are calling this method so it is going into this method and printed first line then second it's saying end of the script because it this read file might take time so once we will read once we will get data after finishing operation at after that only you will get response from here so we printed here end of the script and after that file content and then we re we receive the actual content which is available in this file so this looks like synchronous operation but actually in, it's happening asynchronous so whenever we perform database reading or uh, file reading network reading wherever we have a uh, lot of operations reading and waiting operations then we should internally use promises async operation to recap we have explored callback promises and async await to handle asynchronous operation in node.js so using these techniques will help you write more efficient and maintainable code thank you for watching 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tutorial. Happy coding!